We've got a one-of-a-kind ready-to-run trail truck to check out today with some really unique features and a ton of scale bits and pieces. It's a 4x4 trail truck from Element RC. It's the Enduro Trail Runner. The Trail Runner from Element RC is a 110 scale ready to run trail truck that's pre assembled out of the box with brushed electronics offered in two different versions. One that includes a two cell LiPo battery and battery charger, and one that does not. Both versions do require four AA batteries to power the included XP130 three channel transmitter, which has a three position switch right here behind the wheel. Both versions of the Trail Runner include this white SUV body, which is kind of like a modern. Toyota 4Runner, and at first glance, it's kind of like, eh, but it's actually pretty cool, but we'll talk more about that later. Now, at the beginning of this video, we said this truck had some really unique features, and one of those really cool features is the IFS system this truck comes standard with, and the IFS stands for Independent Front Suspension. Now, this system does away with the front solid axle, instead uses a double wishbone setup that allows the left and right side to tackle the terrain independently. Now, the IFS system from Element RC has been around for a little while now, but it was only available as a conversion kit where you had to assemble and install it on your truck yourself. Now a lot of people don't know it, but the IFS system is not only compatible with the Enduro trucks, but it's also compatible with the Axial SCX10, SCX102, and the SSD Trail King with a few items required. Now those required items you can actually 3D print yourself with the downloadable parts files being available for free. So that's pretty cool if you have those other trucks. Besides the compatibility, the best part about this IFS system is how it transforms the front end to not only be more scale realistic, but also more accurate for certain trail truck builds. And not only is it cool to see the double wishbone suspension work independently, which can be really effective on the trail, but the IFS system does a great job at hiding the steering system with no long links traveling along the axle, and instead uses a steering system that sits up high and out of sight using plastic belt cranks and a metal steering rack supported by bearings. You'll notice the left and right side steering links resting at nearly the same height as the upper arms, so when you look at them from the front, they appear to be one piece and you hardly notice them. For steering angles, the IFS system uses universal front drive shafts so you can get really tight turns. Now you'll notice this front skid plate on the IFS system that looks great and really polishes up that final look, but watch out for it snagging on rocks and trail debris. We had a few instances where it would get caught up on rocks, but to be fair, that could very well have happened with a solid axle. But one very cool thing about the independent suspension is the ride height is adjustable depending on your shock setup. With a solid axle, you can't adjust the ride height unless you change to larger diameter tires or you use a completely different axle that has a smaller pumpkin. Now, speaking of tires, the tires included on the Trail Runner are pretty small tires. They are officially licensed General Grabber ATX tires, and they're 3.85 inches tall, about one and a half inches wide, and mount up on a 1.55 wheel. They're good looking tires, and they're in a really soft rubber compound, and they fit well under the included body, wheel wells, and fenders. But as far as ground clearance is concerned, you could get a lot more ground clearance out of this truck by using a larger diameter tire. But that probably wouldn't work well with the included body unless you did some serious modifications. Now those 1.55 wheels that are included are black beadlocks with caps and attachable hubs on the back side, and they're pretty dang nice looking wheels. The hubs on the back side are upgradable too, with Element RC offering heavier brass options available. Now to switch gears for a minute, we traveled over to the A-Main Hobbies retail store just to check out their indoor crawler course. And surprisingly to us, A-Main employee Chris bought his very first crawler and it was the Trail Runner. And he had already been making some upgrades. What have you done to this because you have change some things. Well, first things first, I put on the, the biggest uh, Pitbull uh, 155 tires you can find on our website at least. And yeah. uh, that helped out quite a bit, uh, alien compound. I put some uh, uh, crazy crawler foam in them, the soft stuff, because oh. the stock foam with the Pitbulls is a little too heavy, a little, same, little too stiff. Same foams front and rear? Same foams front and rear. Um, and after that, I decided to need a little weight 
because stock weighs in just around five pounds. Can we check out your body really quick? What you yeah. had to do to it to accommodate this Absolutely. bumper? So yeah. you just gotta that. trim the uh, the black fenders there. Yeah, so it's a, a whole separate Lexan piece on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep, and just trim the black, you cut off. There's a little line even set for you too to follow, so you don't need to worry about messing it up. That's cool, and then are these the LEDs that are included? Those are the LEDs included with a little bit of yellow spray paint on them. Some of the other things, uh, Put the battery up front with a little bit of hook loop tape. I uh, moved the ESC into the battery tray just, just cause, you know, try to make it a little cleaner. We put uh, right here is I think they're 46 gram brass weights from SSD right in here. I used uh, Samix brass spring cups, um, 370 TBL uh, just because, mm -hmm. you know, more torque equals more gooder. Uh, and then if you can see it here, we have the Samix brass front bumper mount. Oh and yeah. That right. added a bit of weight as well. And then also, if you can see the little bit of brass up there, that's uh, elements. Oh yeah, behind uh, the tire. Yep, that's yeah. elements. Uh, more to come with it, but it's just uh, starting out. Awesome. Yeah. So there's quite a bit here Chris has changed and he's really taken advantage of the different body configurations that are offered right out of the box. Now in its completely stock form, the body comes with many hard plastic scale pieces pre-attached to the body, like the front grille, the windshield wipers, the fenders, the door handles, the side window B pillars, the rear bumper, and the rear visor. But there are more plastic pieces included. There's side mirrors you can attach, there's a snorkel, there's a roof rack, there's a different front bumper you can attach, and bumper D-rings, and two LEDs for that bumper included. All that you can install on the body yourself if you want to. Now this is the bumper that Chris installed on his truck with the LEDs, and then he also attached the included roof rack. So this body includes some pretty nice scale and bits, offering the flexibility for you to customize the body for whatever style or look that you're going for. Plus, once you start cutting out the decals that are included for the different body panels and put them on the body along with the scale parts, this body really starts to come to life. For the rest of the truck chassis, it's pretty dang standard with steel frame rails, a four-link rear end, chassis mounted servo with an optional servo mount for a second winch servo, telescoping plastic drive shafts with an aluminum center spline, an aluminum motor mount, and metal gears used throughout. It's pretty much what you would expect out of a trail truck with the addition of that cool IFS front suspension. For battery use, the truck comes equipped with a shorty battery tray using two Velcro straps to accommodate a lot of different sized batteries. If you wanna use full size stick packs, there is a full size stick pack battery tray included for you to swap them out. If for some reason you don't like the IFS system, most of the parts needed for that solid axle front end are included so you could swap those out too. Now we haven't even talked about all the electronics, but the included SC400X brushed ESC is a two and three cell LiPo compatible. It features a Dean's or T-style plug and it has these dual power plugs for attaching lights. The motor is a 16 turn brushed motor and it's really smooth on the bottom end. The top speed of the truck isn't much, but the bottom end is especially smooth and not jerky at all. The servo is a Reedy 1320 MG Metal Gear servo and it worked okay for us. Now one last really cool unique feature about this truck is the use of its Stealth X transmission. Now at first glance it looks like a simple three gear transmission, but it has a lot of adjustability. For starters, you can easily overdrive this transmission and in fact the truck is overdriven slightly out of the box. You can further increase this overdrive if you want to, or you can configure the transmission to have no overdrive. Another cool thing about the transmission is you can flop it in either directions. It comes with the motor on the left, but you can flop it to put the motor on the right. If you want to, you'll need an optional top shaft to make it work, but it is possible to do pretty easily. So the Trail Runner with that IFS is a pretty dang cool truck. It's certainly a one of a kind, being the only fully complete truck to include an independent front suspension. And then aside that, there is so much flexibility and configurations that you can do with the body, the chassis, 
put the solid axle back on there, you could really modify this truck to the moon. Oh, and the box turns inside out and it's like a scale garage, which yeah, is pretty dang cool, man. So if you're interested in more info on this truck, go check out the Enduro Trail Runner by checking out our links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and leave any questions or comments you have for us. I'm Brad from A Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.